Good evening. And tonight, we have something very unexpected. We have Monster High Creep Productions Series 2, just totally out of nowhere. And Series 2 consists of Gulia, Abby, and Spectra. And again, this came totally out of nowhere. Um, these dolls all of a sudden showed up on the Paul Paul Mart store website. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak English. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I got all of these dolls on the Paul Mart store website for 40 bucks, which is a lot more than they're going to retail for. Now, this is kind of like an early sale. Paul Mart store got their shipment in of these dolls very early. They're not really expected to widely release until like probably sometime early next year, as it did say 2024 on the listing. And the rest of the year is pretty packed with Monster High releases. So I would be incredibly shocked if they somehow managed to stuff these in <laughs> to this year's releases so I don't think that's gonna happen I'm very sure these will probably release in like February somewhere between like February and May um but yeah this is so exciting um I do have older releases of all of these dolls except Spectra I'm sorry I don't have Spectra so she will be completely new to me um I'm very excited. I don't know if I'm going to completely unbox all of them. Um, I'll see how I feel when we get up up close with the dolls. Um, but I will be taking them out of their outer packaging. Um, so I might leave one or two on their cardboard when I unbox them and put them back in their box. Um. So just, just so you're aware, they might not all be completely unboxed. But yeah, let's get into it. But first, I just want to say that my channel is absolutely positively not for children in any way, shape, or form and is for adult collectors only. So first, let's take a look at Spectra. Here is her box. Very, very similar to the original packaging, including that like almost coffin shape on the box. Oh, I love it so much. This is probably like my favorite doll packaging of all time, to be honest. I just love it so much. Here's an up close of her face. You know, to be honest, like she's still in the box, but I kind of think I prefer this face to her very original release. Like it's incredibly similar, but just subtly different. She comes with her pet hairbrush, diary, that was my cat, <laughs> she says hi, um, a doll stand, it says Boo Original Creep Production, oh, look at that original Monster High logo, look at the stripes, oh, incredible, and the side of the box is just pink, black, and white stripes, and the back of the box has all of the original artwork and one thing to note is it doesn't have a picture of the rest of the dolls in this series which is a little bit odd um but look at this gorgeous artwork of spectra ah, meet the frighteningly fashionable teenage children of the world's most famous monsters spectra von der Geist, daughter of a ghost age 16 her pet ren I believe is how you pronounce it. Her favorite food is angel food cake. Her BFF is everyone loves <laughs> Spectra. Oh my gosh. And then it says it all in a bunch of different languages. Look at the cute little mixtape. Oh, so cute. I just, uh, this original Monster High packaging is absolutely iconic. And then the other side of the box has the same artwork on the side. It says Monster High amazing 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 i just love this packaging so much and look at she even comes with her purse i hadn't noticed that 
who are the real Vodger guys. <laughs> I don't know what that's in reference to, but this is the top of the box. And yeah, that is her packaging. I think she's going to be one I keep on the cardboard packaging when I unbox her and then put her back in because I don't have an original Spectra, so that's very cool. But, all right, on to the next And one. next we have Gulia, looking absolutely gorgeous. I've only ever owned one other Gulia new in box, so this is very, very cool. And her original release is definitely one of my absolute favorite Gulias, maybe even my absolute favorite. Again, it says original Creep Productions. Oh, look at the little brain logo. Oh my gosh. It's all in black and white and red. Red is Gulia's like signature color. She comes with her pet, Sir Hoots a lot, who is absolutely adorable. And her face is incredibly similar to the original release. Um, the only difference I'm noting upon first impression is her lips do seem a little bit smaller, a little bit less plump. I love those fishnet armbands. Mine doesn't have those, so that is so cool. I finally have one completely complete. Gulliops, daughter of the zombies. <laughs> There's her mixtape. Her diary, her purse. I really love her purse. So it looks like a cassette tape. And everyone's wondering what her hair quality is going to be like. So I am so curious. I just hope it's not Polly. Please do not let it be Polly. <laughs> and just like Spectra's, this side is all stripes. And here is the back of the box. Gulia Yelp. Age 16 and monster years, pet an owl named Sir Hootsalot. Her BFFs are Cleo, Denial, and everyone else at Monster High. Oh, I love Gulia. She is absolutely gorgeous. And the other the side is just the same. It says Monster High and has the original artwork. Uh, I'm totally tempted to completely unbox her. We'll see. And last, but certainly not least, we have Abby Bominable. And she is one of my favorite of the original ghouls. I love that, like, powder blue color that's in her, her color reel. It's gorgeous. Look at the little snowflake logo. Comes with her pet, Shiver, who is so, so cute. I think her face does look marginally different than the Abby that I have, and we will be comparing them. I love her original outfit. Those leg warmers are just everything. Comes with her diary brush stand, just like usual. Oh, look at the little ear muffs on her skillet. So cute! Side of the box that is just the stripes. Here's the back of the box with the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. Age 16, favorite food, the cheese of the yak and pancakes. Oh my god. And our BFFs are Laguna Blue and Frankie Stein. So, so gorgeous. And the top of the box says... I am thinking scary cute, but annoying classmate may be fun for date. <laughs> oh my God. What even is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, I love Abby so much. She is so funny. And the original Monster High web series, she is one of my favorite characters. I think she's absolutely hilarious. And yeah, that's it. Now let's decide which ones to completely unbox. And here's a closer look at Abby. I decided that for now at least I'm going to keep her in the box. So I just kind of slipped her out of the plastic packaging. And she's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. She does still have the like glittery skin. You can feel it. I know my 
the camera is not the best, but you can kind of see it too. But yes, you can definitely feel she has that glittery skin, which is amazing. And her, like the faux fur parts of her outfit feel incredibly soft. They feel so soft and plush and look amazing. And her hair, like it could be just because again, mine is older, but her hair colors look a lot brighter. They look a lot brighter than the one that I have. And as for the hair quality, not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I don't think it's Polly. In my personal opinion, I do not believe that it is Polly. She does, of course, still have the tinsel in her hair. I love these leg warmers so much. Oh my gosh, and they're so soft. Here are her shoes. Mine does not have her original shoes, unfortunately. There's her stand and her diary and shiver. Oh, she is absolutely gorgeous. Now, my original Abby is like just above the camera, so I'll bring her down in a second, but as for the dress, I think the dress pattern looks just a little bit different. Just a little bit different. Um, let me get her now. Okay, let's see if I can do this. So here is the Creep Production Abbey compared to whatever Abbey this is. Now, I do not know if this is like an original 2011. I think she would have been released. Um, I do not know if this is like an original 2011 Abby. I'm not sure what release she is. Her hair is a little messy. I apologize. <laughs> um, but yeah, she looks absolutely gorgeous anyway, though her skin is yellowing just a little bit. But anyway, so again, I cannot verify if this Abby is like a very, very original but she's definitely close enough for me at least. Okay, so let's take a look at the faces. Now the Cree Production Abbey skin is definitely a little bit darker and brighter, but again, I think this Abbey did have a little bit of glue seepage. Kind of see her skin yellowing just a little bit. And obviously the furs and the dress on the new one are a lot brighter. And comparing their faces, I think the Cree Production Abby's eyes look a little bit different. It's in the eyes, yes. The sculpt is exactly the same, but the screening on the eyes is just a little bit different. Yeah, and yeah, on the Cree Production, of course, everything looks a little bit brighter, like her eyes and her lips and her skin. Yeah. And can you see what I mean about the printing on the dress? On the Cree production dress, it's a little bit different. It uses brighter colors a lot. Actually, a lot brighter colors. Wow. Wow. Again, I'm not the original owner of this one, so I don't know if the previous owner made any changes or anything. But yeah, the dresses are actually pretty different. It's longer brighter colors. Wow. I'm kind of surprised by that, to be honest. Yep, here's just another comparison. And then the leg warmers, you know, look pretty much the same. Although I think on my quote-unquote original Abby, they look a little bit more plush, actually, surprisingly. But again, on the new one, they are, of course, brighter. And my Abby does not have her original shoes, as I said. And yeah, so they're a little bit different, but the Cree production is still absolutely gorgeous. And for anyone who does not have an original Abby, I think she will absolutely suffice just fine. She is 
stunning. So I did decide to completely unbox Spectra, but keep her accessories attached to the cardboard. So again, she comes with her brush, her cute little pet Ren, I think is its name. Is how you pronounce it at least um and it kind of looks like a ferret it's translucent and so so cute and her diary yeah and now here is spectra unboxed <laughs> and she is so much prettier than i thought like to be honest i kind of hated spectra beforehand but i don't know something about this doll specifically does look gorgeous like i was a spectra hater y'all I, I, to be honest i was a spectra hater but i don't know something about this doll i think is really really pretty so i don't know maybe i'm softening on spectra just a little bit but oh, yes like i feel like her screening is like still fierce a little bit less harsh than her original release somehow like it's still the same sculpt obviously but here are her earrings like little balls and chains and her hair i know a lot of people were curious about her hair i'm having a hard time telling what hair type it is to be honest um but it might be Polly. I hate to say it, but I think it might be Polly. Polly is my best guess, but like the nicest type of Polly you can have. Because it feels a little bit too thick to be Saran. In my opinion, I think. But here it is. It's actually very long, but choppy. Like it is really choppy. Very choppy. But it does look really, really nice still. It it still feels pretty nice, especially if it is poly. Like again, if it is poly, it is the nicest type of poly that you can have. It hasn't given me any trouble at all since I've taken her out of the box. Um, so if it is poly, that still does suck. It's still the worst hair type. But at least it's like the nicest type of poly you can have if it is poly. Polly is my best guess, unfortunately, but hopefully it's not too bad for you. <laughs> like, hopefully, if she does have Polly, her hair behaves for, for you guys if you eventually get her. Um, she comes with her translucent necklace and the bodice. Oh, no, it's a top. I thought it was on one. Oh, it's separate. Okay, it's a top. I thought it was all a dress. Again, I don't have an original Spectra, like, at all. I don't have any Spectra dolls, so. But the bodice, oh my god. So it's made out of this faux leather material. And then it has this, like, purple glittery, glittery, oh my god, I can't speak English. Uh, material in the middle that's nice and shiny. And then it has, like, real actual chains chains oh my god <laughs> i think that's where the budget went into was this top instead of her hair oh my god but it looks amazing it has these like hot pink ribbon straps and then there's her belt just like um kind of like a silver plastic nothing exciting and here's her skirt. It has this overlay of black glittery, kind of like tulle-like material. Her purse just dropped great. And then just a simple purple skirt underneath. But it's really pretty and like really shiny. She comes with this silver bracelet. And she still has the partly translucent legs. Let's see. And I think the painting on them looks really, really good. Come on, focus. 
yeah, the painting on her legs looks really, really good in my opinion. I'm not finding any issues with it at all. Like, it looks a lot better than, like, Laguna's G3 Laguna. Um, because G3 Laguna has basically the same thing. Where her legs are partly translucent and this, the painting looks a lot better. And here are her shoes. Ooh, they're painted very nicely. Yeah, we have a ball and chain on the back. Oh yeah, those are painted very, very nicely. And yeah, that is Spectra. She's a lot better than I expected. I like her a lot more than I expected. Even if she does, unfortunately, probably have poly hair. By the way, Spectra does come with her purse. Like I said, I just dropped it. Here it is. It's kind of like a almost translucent purple purse. All plastic with some silver like faux chain handle and it's really really pretty. I had originally planned on keeping Gulia in the box but then I thought about it and I was like well I know a lot of people are curious about her and want to know her hair type and things like that so I did completely unbox Gulia just for y'all. Hopefully I'll have another chance to get another one to keep in the box but just like with Spectra, I'm keeping most of her accessories on the cardboard. There's her hairbrush. Her pet, Sir Hoots a lot, who is so cute. He's one of my favorites. And her diary. And now let's look at the doll. And she is stunning. Here she is. Here's Gulia out of the box. She comes with this lime green headband. Her glasses have the this protective plastic to protect her face paint, which is amazing. And you can still lift it up, even with the plastic on, which is awesome. So I'm just going to lift that up a little bit. And here is her screening. It is so beautiful. Look at that smoky, smoky eye. Oh my god, she is stunning. And she has a little bit of like silver glittery shadow under her brow oh my god she is stunning i'm honestly really tempted to take this protective plastic off because she is stunning oh my god so i might do that later i might we'll see she comes with these hot pink zipper shaped earrings and again, her lips do look a little bit smaller. I'm going to grab my other original Gulia so we can compare in just a second. She comes with this silver and pink necklace. Um, I don't think the necklace has like any particular shape. It's just like a drop. Really cute. She's wearing her iconic, <laughs> iconic outfit with the red white and black stripes and then a like cherry print cami over it and she has these fishnet armbands here is her belt painted very very nicely yep there's the front right there oh and it has like a little silver skullette belt buckle i never noticed that oh my gosh in real life it's actually kind of pretty shiny like almost like pearlescent nice and here is her purse it's shaped like a cassette tape and says monster mix so so cute my Gulia doesn't have her purse so this is amazing and here are her pants they're red and black tiny tiny little like almost polka dots and then a red stripe kind of like where the pockets are god my camera does not want to focus today i'm so sorry and they're they feel really nice the material feels pretty soft yeah this, ooh, this all feels really really nice now i think they they're a little bit shorter than the original Gulia's pants at least the one that i have 
yeah, they're a little bit shorter, which I'm not a fan of because it, to me, it kind of looks weird that there's this gap between her shoes and her pants. So I'm, that's kind of the only thing I'm not a fan of so far is the length of her pants. I think they need to be a little bit longer. And here are her iconic shoes. Oh my God, these are amazing. Kind of like these lace-up boots. You can see the skull lap printed right there. And they are painted very nicely. I am not finding like any paint errors whatsoever. Love that. And now the final thing. I know y'all were curious about is her hair and so I spent a few minutes just like playing with her hair and then touching Spectra's hair and doing the same comparing them and I am happy to report to me personally this feels like Saran it feels like Saran hallelujah like I kind of feel like that slight slight waxiness that a lot of monster high dolls with saran hair have like there's just like a little bit of styling wax in them usually and it feels like that it doesn't feel kind of like almost thick a little bit like spectrist is it does not feel like that to me this feels like saran and i am so happy about that it's a little bit choppy not as choppy as spectrist but just a little bit choppy you know there's this kind of layer right there that's a little bit longer but overall it doesn't look bad it still looks pretty nice I suppose it could use a little bit of a washing though but let me grab my other Gulia. okay here she is so we can get hair now, again, I do not know what release this ghoulie is. I don't know if she's like original, original 2011 when she was first released or if she's a re-release re from like 2014. I believe it was 2014. They released this like five or six pack with some of the original ghouls and their original outfits. So I do not know what release she is again. She could be 2011. She could be 2014. I don't know. You tell me if you know for sure. Well, since your glasses are falling off, <laughs> let's take a look. Okay. And here they are compared. So you can see that the Creep Production Gulia definitely has smaller lips. Huh. On my original Gulia, yeah, her face does look a little bit different like the head the head shape it looks a little bit thinner like her, her face looks a little bit more fierce let's try to lift up her glasses a little bit yeah overall the screening is incredibly similar like i'm not really finding any differences very much but kind of like the head shape on this one my original does look like a little bit thinner almost like Cree production Gulia's face looks just a tiny bit fuller and her lips look a little bit smaller but overall she is still absolutely stunning 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 and the makeup is actually a little bit heavier on my original too I didn't expect that because I thought her makeup was pretty heavy all right one second <laughs> now there we go again my gulia is missing some of her accessories because she was not originally mine i got her as a christmas present last year and they got her off like ebay or mercari so the tops look basically the same i'm not finding any differences really just you know creep productions are just a little bit brighter but overall basically the same Though, I think the detailing on my original looks a little bit more lacy. Well, this one looks more like a ribbon. Pants look exactly the same. Except, as you can see, Cree Production Gulia's pants are shorter. They are shorter, which I don't like. And that's the only thing I'm not really liking so far. Just the length of the pants. 
and the shoes are exactly the same, no differences whatsoever. And yeah, let me grab our glasses. There we go. And I'm not finding any differences in their glasses whatsoever. And yeah, there we go. Gulia looks amazing in both releases, to be honest. And finally, here are the two ghouls I unboxed. Again, I kept Abby in one box for now, at least. And I think all three dolls are amazing. I love them so, so much. I am still shocked that these were even released, to be honest, because it's been over a year since Cree Productions Wave 1, and we had, like, absolutely no word on Series 2. I thought they were canceled. I completely thought they were canceled. I am, I am still shocked. They're right here in front of me, and I am still shocked these were even released. I thought... I thought they were dead in the water, to be honest, um, but I am so happy that they're here. They're beautiful, amazing, incredible. I love them so much. Again, I bought these from Paul Mart Store's website. He puts them out way, way, way early, and he does upcharge them. These cost 40 bucks each when their original retail release will be about $26.99, I believe. $25.99 or $26.99 will be their official retail price when they're widely released next year. Um, you know, like on Walmart, Amazon, Target, hopefully. We, we still don't really have word on exactly what stores these will be released at, but do not worry. If you did not get them from Paul Mart store, do not worry. I repeat, if you did not get these from Paul Mart store's website, do not worry. He put them out very, very early. These are not intended to be widely released right now. Don't freak out. Don't worry. They will be widely released, most likely sometime early next year. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the same situation as Cree Productions Series 1, where they were, well, they were widely released. They were not stocked very well at all, and most people weren't able to get them. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um, it's Mattel, so I would not be surprised if if it was a similar situation so but but still don't freak out if you did not get them from Paul Mart store again he put them out early and he is up charging so you, you're basically just paying to get them early um even if they're not super well stocked next year you will still have a chance to buy these so again don't freak out okay don't don't freak out if you didn't get them from Paul Mart store they will still be widely released don't know how well stocked they'll be but they will still be widely released um and again they're beautiful I think their quality is very nice um my only two things I'm not a fan of are Spectra's poly hair Gulia's shorter pants and I don't know I really do wish she had the exact same lip shape as the original because it they are a little bit smaller, and I just love, love, love dolls with super, super plump lips. But other than that, they're beautiful. They're incredible. They're amazing. It's just so amazing to see G1 Monster High dolls again, especially because I know their prices are just astronomical on the secondhand market right now. Yeah, that's basically all I have for you today. I highly recommend them when they're widely released. I hope everyone who wants them is able to get them. I hope Mattel does stock them better this time. I really, really, really hope they do. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so very much for watching. Any likes, shares, comments, and subscribes would be so, so, so very appreciated. I would love to know your thoughts. Comment down below. What do you think of these dolls? Are you going to be buying them when they're released? Are you just as happy as I am that they're even releasing at all? <laughs> Follow me on Instagram for more doll content at Jackie Bella. Let's be friends. And subscribe on YouTube for more doll content too. Buenas noches.